hi everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to clean up this index.js file right now if you see we are defining all the routes we have defined this login route and this sign up route in this index.js file and if we keep on adding these routes this file will become so big okay so in this video we are going to clean up this index.js file so without further ado let's start doing it so the first thing that we are going to do is remove this handler function from this route okay so let's come to this src folder here we are going to make two folders so the first folder that we are going to make is this routes folder and the second folder that we are going to make this is controller dot, uh, controllers folder so we have two folders first this route folder and second this controller folder in this controller folder we will write all controllers what are controllers so this handler function is going to be written over here in this controller folder okay so let me make a new file let's call it auth controller dot js and here in this auth controller dot js we are going to write this controllers this handler function so let me copy this whole code and let me paste it over here okay so the first thing that we need is to remove this route and let's define a variable cons login equal okay and over here we have to remove this the same way let's make a new variable sign up and let's remove this curly brace from here and let's remove this listen so we have two functions the first function is the sign up function and the second function is this login function okay so we don't need this app so let me remove this and we don't need this express so let me remove this so basically we have this two route so basically we have two functions this login function and this sign up function so let's export this so module dot exports equal uh, login and sign up so we have these two controllers this login controller and this sign up controller so, and we are exporting this so the first thing we did was we removed this handler function from here to here okay now let's define the routes so in routes let's make a new file and let's call it index.js so index.js and let's make a new folder let's call it v1 so this is for version 1 api routes in this v1 route let's make a new file and let's call it index.js so basically in this route folder we have two index.js file so the first index.js file is here in this v1 folder and this is the second index.js file so let's open this one the index.js file which is present in this v1 folder so let's open this and here let's import express so const express equal require express and then let's import all the controllers from this auth controller so const we have two controllers we have login controller and we have sign up controller require and uh, dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash controller slash auth controller dot js and now let's make a route so const router equal express dot router and now let's make two routes so the first route is this router dot post if the path is slash login we will call this function login controller and if the path is sign up we will call this sign up controller okay and now let's export this router so module dot export equal router and now let's come this index.js file let's again import 
express so const express equal require express and let's import this router that we are exporting from here so const v1 routes also let me tell you one thing this router that I am exporting from here we can change the name here okay so v1 route equal require and the path is um, dot slash v1 slash index dot js okay so we have this v1 routes now let's make a router so const router equal express dot router and let's make a middleware so router dot use so what's the middleware we are going to get this answer in our next video so stay tuned for that so router dot use and let's make it v1 for version 1 and v1 routes okay so here we have to pass this v1 routes and now let's export this router so module dot exports equal router now let's come to this index.js file and here let me remove all this thing because we don't need all these things so let me remove it and here or let me remove this too let's import so here let's import all the api routes so here api routes equal require so we are importing this api routes that we are exporting it from here so api route is equal require dot slash routes slash index dot js and let's make a middleware so app dot use and let's do api and the api routes okay so basically let me explain how the request will be handled so first it will come to this route api then we are calling this handler so let me go over here and then it will hit this route then we have to go here and then it will hit this login route or this sign up route then we are calling this handler so let me show you how the route will look okay so in postman so initially the route was localhost colon 3000 slash login slash login but now it is api slash v1 slash login so initially it was localhost colon 3000 slash login now it is localhost colon 3000 api v1 slash login so let me send this request and let's see whether it works or not so first let's run our application so npm run dev and it is showing us an error so let's see what's the error it says router.use requires a middleware but got an object okay okay so I got the error here we have to pass slash here we have to write slash and also here we also have to write slash so let's rerun our application and it is all and we are getting the error again module dot and here we and here we have made this typo mistake we wrote module.x would have written module.exports and yes our server started at port 3000 so let's come over here and let's try to send the request again and it says logged in with the data we are getting the token okay so so if we see this uh, index.js file this file is so clean and we wrote all the routes over here so our routes are here 
and our controllers are here. So we have two controllers login and sign up and we have all the routes here. So we have this version one routes. We have the, uh, so we have the version one of the routes and if we want to upgrade it from version one to version two, all we have to do is to create another folder version two and there we can write all the version of and there we can write all the second version of the API routes. So this is how we handle versioning of API in big projects. And this is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.